Hi, I'm Joey with Homebrew Your Own Beer and HBYOB.com. Been putting together a couple uh, displays here of some spike fermenters and ran across a very common issue I found early on whenever I was either installing or replacing my silicone or rubber gasket. Um, a lot of people want to, you know, just start it right where they begin, work their way all the way around. And what you'll find if you do it that way, you'll, you'll end up with what seems like way too big of a gasket than what, than what you need for the fermenter. Then it doesn't make a good airtight seal. Um, so as you see, I've already done one. And it, as you can see, it, if you do it the way that I'm doing, it's going to, it's going to seal really, really well. And it's going to save you a lot of headache. So basically all I do is I take the O-ring and I just gently lay it where I'm going to put it. Then from there, what I do is I push down one spot then go directly across the other way and push the other spot in. Then about halfway from there, I push it down again. And then halfway from there, I'll push it down again. And what that's doing is it's taking all the slack out of the, the gasket so that when you go work your way all the way around, you don't have all that extra uh, sticking up that makes it for an airtight seal. And then honestly, from there, you just kind of work it in. Once you get it from all those little spots, that way it's not pushing real tight in there. And as you can already start to see, I'm getting a really nice good seal without well, you still have to work it in there, but I'm getting a really good, nice seal without a bunch of slack. Like I said, I found that very early on. This was a great tip that would help me uh, save a lot of headache and frustration. Really simple, I know that, but I just want to share with you it today. Thank you, everybody, and I'll see you next time.